It's funny to think that a broken heart doesn't sound like anything that's breaking. It sounds like storm clouds brewing up above. In five words that spell out the sentence, I've been cheating on you. And just like that, the rain begins to pour. But that was then. You are someone completely new. Lord knows that it has been raining floods in this here town, and tonight you told me that you were afraid to go to bed alone, especially when it was raining. I told you not to worry. That the thunderclaps that can sound as big as Haley's Comet striking Mount Everest are only crescendo drum solos to keep you entertained. That the raindrops hitting your window are nothing more than a concerto of pea shooters, a consistent rhythm to teach you that this too shall pitter, patter, pass. I said goodnight with one last text, and you said it to me too. With the phone hung up beside me, the only thing I felt was the empty silhouette of every lover that has once slept beside me. Clutching a pillow helps, but sometimes. When nature starts to sing her powerful lullaby made of crashes and bolts and static sounding raindrops, the bed starts to feel like a capsized life raft floating on a monsoon sea and all the emotional baggage I have tried to push to the crevices of my mind surfaces like suitcases, rising from the Titanic's deathbed, as though I feel I am laying in my own darling. It's spring. A dusty old winter's being washed away with the tides of storm clouds, the tombstones of past resentments have already been made clear. Anger and hurt have been buried, dismissing the ritual of dropping the bouquet, turning around and walking away. Anger is a poison, the heart a reflective vessel, and since mine had been broken, I think I'd better fill it with something you. Make this rain feel like butterflies. That point we took of grabbing each other's hand and jumping off that cliff and that potential crash reality of it was never meant to be. That is fact. But that empty space in between the points are full of butterflies. I think that's why they call this trust exercise. You're falling for someone and yes, love has always been a prairie lightning storm. Amazing but never lasting. One moment I am being seduced in an abandoned forest while branches clap with silent approval. The next I am making love while Sigur Ross serenades a Venus retrograde high in the heavens and then... I am making out in front of black and white movies playing monochromatic light shows in the background, but those kisses turned into shadow puppets in the dark. We called communication skills that love soured itself in the refrigerator with an expiration date unknown to me, and those branches stopped clapping a long time ago. I hope this doesn't scare you off, but I need to tell you that I am clumsy the same way a giant is trying to shake hands with a baby. I think we all are. Because sometimes it takes that superhuman strength to peel back the bark that's grown over our hearts so it can smell like sappy new beginnings made fresh in the morning dew, attracting butterflies from afar. There's not a storm cloud in sight, darling. There's a new season of love unfolding. The only thing I have left to ask, will you join? <laughs>